Sometimes in life to be successful, you have to follow your instincts. You have to follow your gut. Your parents may say wrong, your whoever may say wrong, but you have to do it. Most of your fears are bullshit. Get over yourself. Do the thing that your heart is asking you to do, regardless of the external circumstances. Basically, regardless of what it looks like. You just fucking do it. And the reason why I say that is not because of what you might get by taking action in the direction of your dreams. Because the goal, the prize on the other end of it, is not nearly as powerful as who you become when you do the damn thing. In spite of the fact that things aren't working out right now, in spite of the fact that I don't have all the things I need, I don't have the help and the assistance I need, it's still possible that I'm still in the game, I'm still breathing, I still have life, I still have an opportunity as long as I'm here, I've got an opportunity to pull it off, that no one has the right to count you out, to disregard your presence, no one has the right to do that. You don't have the right to do that. You can do it, but you should not do that. You want to give yourself a fighting chance. If you take yourself out of the ring, you never have a chance to know whether or not you could have made it happen. But if you could stay in there, and what can keep you in there? What can get you up off the canvas? As long as I'm in the ring, it's possible I can get one lick in that can make the difference. I, I would always say to people, and I'd see people, and I'd say, you got to love what you do. Because, you know, if you love what you do, you work harder. But it's not work. You've got to love what you do. You've got to work hard. Never, ever quit. Never, ever give up. Because that's the other thing. If I commit to something, if I say, yes, it's going to happen, it's going to happen. And it's going to happen fucking magically. I put in the effort. I put in the intention that this is what's going to happen. And then I go to work. And I don't know how it's going to work, but it just fucking works every single time. Get focused and clear. What's compelling? Where are you? Really? And don't lie. Where do you want to be? And make it so compelling you can't help it. When you wake up in the morning, you want to transform this area of your life. So the quality of your life already is better just because you are so excited about what you're after. When you do that with your body or your emotions or your finances or time or any other area and you start focusing and you're clear, you're going to have energy. You're going to have drive. You're going to start to do something. Now, the only rule for reaching a goal that you have to know is knowing where you're going and knowing that you're going to get there. You do not have to know how you're going to get there. Well, when you are looking at your life and you're looking at going from here up here, you're going to encounter some resistance. So part of what is necessary for you to begin to develop the consciousness that will enable you to tap into the power of creation in you as you concentrate, knowing that you've got this power, this stuff, this specialness in you to overcome anything that you're involved in, anything that you have experienced, anything that you have gone through, every chance you get, you remind yourself that you've got what is required in order to move your life forward. And every day, keep telling yourself and feeling inside yourself, yourself being strong enough and more than able and capable of coming back, of making this happen. That there's a part of you now that, that you've got to call into being. It's there, it's dormant. And because you haven't used it, it it's not developed yet. This creative power that you have. Now, that's how he gets to the top, a step at a time. And that's how you're going to get to your goal. You just have to know the first step to take. And when you take that step, you're going to find that your conditions, your circumstance and environment will change. Then you see how you have to make the next step. It's a matter of adapting all the time. You only have to know two things. You have to know where you're going and you have to know that you're going to get there. You've got to see it in your mind. Now, this is the beautiful scenario. This is what it's all about. Save that in your mind and think of it often. Think, every time you think of your goal and you're trying to figure out how you're gonna do it, think of that vertical wall of ice. 
What's the next step? That's all you really have to know. One step at a time. What I want to invite you to do, what I want you to consider is that every single time you go and do something hard, because that's the other thing. A lot of people, their excuses are, it's, it's easier said than done. It's too hard, right? This is really basically what your, your story is. That's the story you've told yourself, that it's easier said than done. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to do that. Well, it's supposed to be fucking hard. I've seen people that are super genius, but they don't have that gut feeling. They don't have that stick to that never quit. And I've seen people that almost made it and failed because they couldn't go that extra mile. They couldn't do it. So you get something, you never, ever quit, never, ever give up. Always have passion. You've got to have passion for your family, for your life, for your church, for whatever it is. You've got to have that passion. You've got to just love it. But what people tend to do is I'm saying focusing on what you want, not what you don't want. And not only just focusing on what you want, where you focus and say, well, I'd like to be strong. I'd like to be energetic. I'd like to be fit. It's focusing and making it compelling. If your only reason you're focusing on it is like, well, I, I need to lose some weight because I feel fat versus I want the energy to burn because with that I'll have more passion, more aliveness. I'll be able to impact my children. I'll be able to, you know, I'll be able to take the business to another level. I'll be able to have fun when I'm stressed out and tired. I'll have creativity flowing through me. You can't just focus on it. You got to create a clear and compelling future in that area that will pull you towards it so you're not trying to push yourself.